Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a get ready with me for a solo day and I'm gonna bring you guys with me. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. All right, so I'm gonna start off with my makeup today. I'm going to the movies and I'm just gonna get myself some flowers afterwards. So I'm not doing too much, but I still like to look cute every time I leave my house, especially if I'm by myself, cause I feel like it helps with my confidence so much more and just like being excited to actually leave and go just enjoy life so i'm just doing my regular everyday base makeup and i have a really exciting sponsor today shout out to urban decay for working with me on this video and thank y'all for always supporting me and opening so many opportunities for me they sent me over some of the best products so i'm really excited to show you guys like what my final makeup looks like so they sent over the all-nighter long-lasting setting spray if you guys are into makeup you know this is one of the best setting sprays i also got the stay naked quickie concealer it's a 24 hour wear multi-use concealer and it also comes with a blender on the other side next up is the vice lip bond glossy liquid lipstick in textum it's a dusty rose shade i also got the limited edition naked x smiley mini eyeshadow palette in mucho happy so i'm really excited to be playing around with some color today next are the 24 7 glide on eyeliner pencils in perversion and cuff these go on so smoothly so they're really easy to apply and the pigment is amazing so first i'm going to start off with concealer i'm using the stay naked quickie concealer in the shade 50 nn it's a neutral shade and do you guys see how I'm blending and it's keeping all of its pigment, all of the coverage? I'm literally spreading the product out and it's still pigmented. I was really happy with this concealer. I think it's now my favorite concealer I've tried so far. And it just covers a lot. Like it's so full coverage. You don't need a lot of it. And I feel like the color match is perfect for me. And it's like thick and creamy but it's still easy to blend and like I said it just covers everything and it doesn't lose any of its pigmentation so I love this product if you guys haven't tried this I highly suggest you try this concealer because it was just like the best it really did what it had to do and it covered everything and it really brightened my under eyes and highlighted all the areas I wanted to highlight. You also didn't need to set it like it wasn't creasing after I applied it, but I just set it because that's normally what I do for my makeup. But honestly, it didn't even need to be set, especially if you don't use that much product. 10 out of 10. I loved it so much and I will have everything linked in the description below. So if you guys want to check out the concealer or any other product that i use then check my description and everything will be listed there so i'm just finishing up my base i'm doing my basic everyday makeup that i've been doing recently and i'm gonna go into eyeshadow today i wanted to do a look that made me feel really pretty and build my confidence a little since i was going to the movies by myself i've never done that so i just wanted to look good so that i felt good i started off with concealer and a white um, eyeshadow just to create a base that the shadows would pop on so I went in first with psyched from the naked X smiley palette and I'm just building that up until I'm happy with the pigment and for the pop of color I'm gonna be using smiley it's a matte bright yellow shade and I was really excited to use this I wanted to create like a light to darker gradient so I'm just packing that on towards more towards the center of my eye but still towards the inner corner and then i'm just gonna keep blending the two together by going back and forth with each color and it's very simple but you still get like a pop of color and it came out really cute it reminded me kind of like a sunset on my eyes and then i went into the shade parte it's like a warm bronzy shimmer shade and i apply that on the center of the top and bottom of my eyes so I never really used to put shimmer underneath my eyes but I feel like it really brightened them up and then I went in with the 24 7 glide on eyeliner pencil in perversions and then I went in with the all-nighter setting spray and now I'm applying the vice lip bond glossy lipstick in the shade textum just in the center and then blending it out with my finger and then applying a little bit of gloss over and this is how the final makeup looks i love how this came out the bright eyes and the like inner corner really help make my face look awake and youthful and i love it so much so 
thank you urban decay for sponsoring this video i'm very grateful and if you guys are interested in any of the products that i use to achieve this makeup look they will be in the description below all right y'all so now i'm working on my hair i didn't really know what to do with it i had just washed and straightened it the day before so i would usually wear it down which i am going to end up doing but i wanted to show you guys this hairstyle just in case like you have bangs and you wanted to try out a style like this but i haven't been feeling my bangs lately they're definitely overstaying their welcome but i wanted to try something where i wear them as actual bangs and not just curtain style so i sectioned out the bangs and i put half of my hair straight back into a ponytail and left some hair down just like a normal half up half down and I did add a clip like I usually do for some volume like I said I didn't even end up keeping my hair like this but I think it was cute I just really didn't know what to do with my bangs but I still wanted to show y'all just in case you have bangs and you actually like them and want to style them next I just took my mini flat iron and curled the sideburns just so they would lay better and have a natural swoop when I slick them down I don't normally do hairstyles or ponytails or anything that I have to sleek back when I just wash my hair because I usually have to use product because I have so many flyaways and I have to use a lot of product on my edges and it just makes my hair dirty really fast so I try to avoid any styling of my hair for the first week at least so that's one of the reasons that I took it down I also just didn't like my bangs but yeah that's how the first style looked if you like that you guys can recreate it but i just took it down and i fixed the top portion of my hair because most of the curls did like fall out of they didn't fall but they were just not going the direction i wanted them to so i'm just curling them away from my face at a horizontal angle and yeah this is how i wore my hair and yeah let me know what you guys think do you like my hair up or down Sorry for the weird lighting, um, but I'm about to leave. The movie's at 7, it's 6.30, and it's not that far away from me. But I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. It's literally just comfortable. I get cold easy, so I want it to be warm. I just have on this set from Aritzia. This is from Naked Wardrobe, and I have one gray. New Balances. Tracksuit has been my uniform lately because I got it in two other colors and I'm just in love with it. So yeah, I'm going to go to the movies. I'm going to bring you guys with me. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. It's just going to be like a short little snippet, um, but I'm about to head out the door. So. All right, so I'm just checking in. I bought my ticket online, so I just had to scan the barcode. And I had to run to the bathroom so I could take the jacket off because I was sweating. I get really anxious, and I start sweating. Also, it was hot outside, and I had on a whole tracksuit. So, anyways, I just sat down, ordered some cheesy bread and a drink, and enjoyed the movie. After I was done at the movies, I just headed to the store to treat myself to some flowers. I love making floor arrangements now. They make my house smell really nice and it just brightens my mood every time I see them. So this is just like a fun little task for me to do. It makes me feel productive and brings me a lot of joy. So for this arrangement, I did pick up hydrangeas, roses, lilies, and baby's breath. Lilies are my favorite flowers. I just love how they bloom and I just think they're so gorgeous. So um, I'm going to be putting the arrangement together the next day because it was kind of late when I went to the store. But I don't really have a specific way to arrange them. I just play around with it until it looks like the vision that I have in my head. But this experience was really fun for me. I started off feeling anxious, but my anxiety calmed down as the movie went on. I don't even know why I was nervous in the first place because nobody can see me in the movie theater but i'm glad i went out of my comfort zone a little and i'll definitely be doing solo dates more often but this is how my bouquet turned out i love it so much i think it's really beautiful and the vase is from randall's it's so cute and modern and it was only like eight dollars but that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching and i love y'all so much